Welcome to Electron Line. In this video, we're now going to take a look at the second polynomial. Here's the equation for the second polynomial. Polynomial 2 is equal to 1 plus x2 plus x3 plus x6 plus x8 plus x9 plus x10. Again, these are not exponents. They simply say which bit position will be summed in order to feed the register string. And what we can see here, the feedback shift register which allows the summation here to be fed back into the register and makes everything shift over by one. In this case, unlike polynomial one, we do not use bit 10 output to feed the code. Here what we do instead is we're taking two of the bit positions, summing them up and adding it up to the contents of bit 10 from polynomial one. And that then becomes the first chip of the output, the PRN output. Here we call it PRN1 because it's associated with Space Vehicle 1. The reason why this is associated with Space Vehicle 1 is because we're using bits 2 and 6 to sum up in order to generate the code. For Space Vehicle 2, we add up bits 3 and 7. For Space Vehicle 3, we add up bits 4 and 8. So each Space Vehicle will grab a different combination of bits to produce the code and therefore each Space Vehicle will produce its own unique code. Notice that when we get to number four, we add five and nine, number five adds one and nine and so forth. And we have a specific set of bits that are combined in each time that are summed in each time that will then generate that code. Just like for polynomial one, at the beginning of each millisecond, we set all the bits equal to one, and then we start the process. So the first process, we add bits two, three, six, 8, 9, and 10. And that will be the same for all space vehicles. It's always those 6. 2, 3, 6, 8, and 8, 9, and 10. Notice they're all 1s. We get 1 plus 1, 1 plus 1, plus 1, plus 1, plus one, plus one equals 6. And since it's even, this then becomes 0. And that then gets fed into the first location of the register, and everything gets shifted over. At the same time, we take bits 2 and 6, which are both 1s, 1 plus 1, and we then sum them up. This is equal to 0, and that then gets fed into this summation, which whatever came from bit 10. In this particular case, bit 10 was a 1, so we add a 0 plus a 1, sum that together. This gives us a 1, and that's then the first bit of the output going into that 1023 chip message. And then we do it all again. We shift everything over. We put a zero in there. So zero, everything else gets shifted over. One, 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 and one. The one that falls off is not used. So we don't use the output of bit 10, except for the summation of, with the other five bit positions to feed the first bit position in that register. Again, what we're going to do now, we sum up 2, 3, 6, 8, 9, and 10. They're all 1s. Again, we get 1 plus 1 plus 1, plus one, one equals 6, which means that's a 0 that will then get fit into this register. Everything else will shift over. And then to produce the code, we take the contents of bit 2, which is right here, and bit 6, 3, 4, 5, 6, which is right here. We get 1 plus 1 equals, well, that will be a 0. And that then gets fed in with what comes down from polynomial 1 in bit 10. That would be 0 plus 1. 0 plus 1 gives us the second bit. And so that will now be the second chip going out in the message for PRN1. Continue the process. Now, since we fed in another 0, because when we sum them all up here, where are we? Yes, here we go. When we sum them all up, we get 0. That gets fed into the first bit position. Everything else gets shifted over. So this 0 goes over here. This one goes over here, and so forth. One, 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 one. But now when we do the next step, notice that the second bit position is now a zero. So when we add up two, three, six, eight, nine, and 10, we get the following sum. Zero plus one plus one plus one plus one equals five. Since it's an odd number, this then equals one, which then gets fed back into the first register on the next step. We combine the contents of 2 and 6, but now 2 is a 0, and 6 is a 1. So we go 0 plus 1 equals 1, and that 1 then gets summed over here with the contents from polynomial 1, which I believe was going to be a 1. 
So we sum up a 0 plus a 1. 0 plus 1 is, oh, I'll take that back, sorry. It's a 1. It's not a 0. We're summing a 1 with a 1. 1 plus 1 is 2, becomes a 0. So the next chip will be a 0 in that message. And that's now our third chip in the message. We do that for another 1,020 times. We get all 1,023 chips. And those will then be specific to space vehicle 1 when you start then collecting data with your receiver and you're getting this message encoded in the carrier wave, you're going to say, aha, if I get the correct bit settings, I can then recognize that space vehicle one and I know I'm, I'm talking or at least I'm receiving the information from space vehicle one. That's how it's done. Now in the next video, we'll combine the two processes together and we'll step through it so you can see how the first like 10 chips are being produced through this process by combining both polynomial one and polynomial two output. And that's how it works.